Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest, Ulterior Votive. In response to a plea from Minahet, Bayek investigates the sale of false religious icons in the Yamu market. Minahet is worried about the false religious icons sold in Yamu's market, sullying the reputation of both the priesthood and the festival of Sekhmet. He explains that much of Yamu's prosperity is based on the festival which attracts visitors from all over Egypt. The reward is 600 experience, and we need to meet the merchants in the Yamu market. Uh, so actually, I think we need to fast travel. Let's go to the map. And yep, yeah, I'm a little far away. So, let's go... Oh, right there. This looks like a child made it. These cat mummies are false. Do you know anything of flawed mummies sold to tourists? If you are not here to buy, I have no time for your questions. Menahet, the priest, is concerned about the... And I am concerned about my business. So keep your distance. Jeez. Okay, who else can we talk to? And Look at you sold me an amulet of Hathor and my wife got sick anyway. <laughs> well, we got some merchants over here. These cat mummies are false. Greetings. I am... You have come to the right place, Neb. We have everything you could possibly want. What I want is to ask about false idols sold at the market. I have heard rumors of such, but there is nothing to them. Now leave if you want to avoid trouble. Huh? Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahet sent me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Yeah, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality. Or see our stalls destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight. Where the village turns to farmland. Okay, so we need to go 400 meters that way. And meet him at night, and it is night, so that's convenient. This looks like a child made it. Hey, Mike, learn how to drive your horse. A ride your horse, rather. Oh, that's the merchant. I was like, what's this guy doing? Well, I'm gonna beat him there. I guess we could follow him. Eh, nah, he's too slow. Maybe he'll magically appear there. Although, I could just cut across. I don't need to do the autopilot. See him coming. Let's see. Where did he go? Did he get lost? Well, oh, crap. I don't see him at all. He was not that far away. Hmm. Did he magically appear there? Nope, he's still not there. Well, I can wait. Which it looks like I might have to do. Alright, well, I've got that ability that lets me um, forward time. So let's go ahead and hold the touchpad. Well, now I'm confused. I was supposed to meet him at night, but here he is at day. Oh well. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <sighs> it is a beautiful night. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. 
Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind the traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. Seek evil, and you will always find it. All right, an ambush, of course. Parried. Oh, went for the follow-up attack though, and his friend got me. He is a worthy fighter. You guys are screwed now. We've got the overpower. Oh jeez, he tried to block me. That's not gonna work. as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting. Talk, or you will meet the same fate as your friends. That will not be necessary. Among the dunes, southeast of here, is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made. I suppose you would go and destroy it now. Better I smash the camp than your head. Okay, we need to find the bandit camp another 400 meters. Destroying these forgeries will earn the favor of the gods. As Ra lives, what a disgrace. Oh wait, almost forgot. There's something I can read in here. Whoa. <clears throat> Oops, that's Senu. There we go. Baket, you're one of the best merchants we deal with. Continue the good work. We're going to send you a big stock of mummies. We need them to be sold by the end of the month. Uh, where'd my horse go? Hello, horse. Getting some water? Look at the moon up there. Alright. Sinu, find me the stuff. Oh! Crap! Whoa. What can we do about this guy? I guess we could just headshot him. If I could get control of my movement there. Uh, it's not quite good enough. Oh well. Well, that's a good start. Oh, we got camel riders, and I'm out in the open. But I think we're okay. Alright, let's switch to sleep darts. I got four of them. Good, they're leaving. Stop right there! Oh, shit! Touch this area is off limits. Can you believe how stupid these Greeks are? They wouldn't be able to tell a live cat from a dead one. <laughs> Never mind a dead cat from a straw one. Watch your tone. My father is a Greek. Oh, really? <laughs> then I have some cats to sell him. Shut up and get back to work. Oh, no, I wasn't quick enough. Ah, crap. And then I walked right into him. Oh, well. Perry! Oh, I missed that Perry. There we go. Overpower! They really do let that get used way too often, I think. It's such a devastating ability, and I can use it so often. You must die! I need to shield break him. Like so. Oh, I need to target him too. I always forget that. For a boss, you were easy. Well, Captain's dead. And I think pretty much everyone's dead too. 
Alright, let's loot all the goodies and smash the false religious idols. Oh, and more arrows. Oh, ammo full. It's odd, I thought I used some. Alright, that's the treasure, and that completes this location. Another 200 experience. Oh, and I leveled up, so I should use that ability point. And I got some new gear as well. We'll deal with the gear later. Uh, but the point we'll possibly use now. Let's see, what is this one? Overpower chain throw. After killing an enemy with an overpower attack, press R1 to throw that enemy's weapon at another target. That's pretty awesome. Uh, maybe. Oh, that's three points, though? That seems... a bit much for what it does. Um, extend combo. That's right, that was two points. Hmm, none of these are really seeming all that great. Flush decay, eh. Smoke scream damage is good, but it's two points. Pyromaniac, increased fire damage, I don't care. Uh, oh right, I wanted that passive for Senu to stun. Uh, I think I'm gonna get this next, so I need another point. Alright, we're gonna wait on that. Oh! Oh crap! I didn't know what I was doing! Alright, oh, I should probably like roll or something, huh? There we go. Like just letting myself burn to death. Well, those guys on the camels aren't very observant. Alright, speak to Minahet at the Temple of Sekhmet in Yamu, but before we do that, I want to go to another location nearby. Uh, this one down here, I want to sync up so I can fast travel. Because that's kind of out of the way, and if I need to come back here, it'll be good to have that. Where the heck did my horse go? I don't know. Let's just summon him right here. Hello, horse. Oh, look. There's some pyramids over there. I think there's some more pyramids somewhere else, too. I can't wait to go to a pyramid. Pyramids are so cool. bunch of goodies and it looked like something new in that. Oops. Ah, crap. I went to the store. Ah, went to the store again. What am I doing? There we go. Alright, so what did we pick up? Is it that? No, it's an unfinished sword. This, a spearhead. Rusty, but worth salvaging for the iron. And that's a hand of the god. Used for religious purposes. No high fives, please. Alright, what else we got around here? I looked everywhere, and there was no light. Then I looked towards the king, my lord, and there was light. We should continue through the sand with the barge. He'll guide us. Doesn't sound like he guided you very well. Okay, let's climb up. Oh, what are you doing, bike? I just wanted to shimmy around. There we go, much better. It's the pyramids!
Okay. Uh, well, I guess we should go back to Minahet. Uh, to here. Alright, so Minahet's in the very back of the temple. Ah, here you are. I've dealt with the trafficking of false mummies. Thank you. <laughs> How can I ease the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isfet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The high priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. Quest completed. And we got the new quest, Lady of Slaughter, which we'll be doing on the next video. But before we finish up here, there's one more location I would like to do. And it's out there in the water. Hmm, I'm actually pretty close to it here. I wonder if I could find a nearby boat. Let's just climb the wall. Actually, we'll just drop down here. And break this again, because we're a jerk. Oh, look at that. Boat right there. That's perfect. Oh, I'm losing control. I think the wind's pushing me. And uh, now maybe I'm just crazy. I was it was just kind of pushing me to the right for some reason. Maybe it was the wind. But now I have complete control, so I don't know. Anyways, this is the spot. So we've got two treasures down here. Here's one of them. Ooh, carbon crystal. Those are not exactly cheap. And there's the second piece of loot. Location completed. Ooh, 300 experience. Not bad. All right, let's go back up to the surface. There's a boat circling me. Well, don't run me over. No, I got my own boat, dude. Thank you, though. Okay. So, we've got... This quest, let's just highlight it so it goes away. Uh, we've got some new gear. The Kopesh Sword. Uh, adapted from a Canaanite design. Or Canaanite design. This cruelly curved sword is the iconic weapon of the Ptolemaic infantry. And it's getting broken. We have the Uab block. A very convenient and bellicose way to carry a big metal block to the next forge. Okay, and then new shield apparently. It's another wooden shield. Uh, I don't think I've gotten one of these before. Padded with two layers of coarse fabric, this shield can soften, bl soften blows without breaking into splinters. 
Alright, so we also have one bow. Another wall of sand. Alright, and then we have the one ability point. That's gonna have to stay there. And inventory... What's this? Golden plate? I've had that before. Alright, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.